What is up guys, welcome to episode 50 Gaming and today, today I have you a brand new video and this video we're going to recap my last video that I made But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate that Without no further ado, let's get started motherfuckers So, my last video that I made, it was about me bitching, complaining, whining <laughs> How Master Chief Collection did not work for me and how a lot of people were having all sorts of issues with the RTX 2000 series card and how a, a, a wide uh, audience is having issues with like the audio logs and the cutscenes and the frame rates and everything's like messed up. It, a lot of people are having issues, most of the people are not. I did. My issue was solved by simply spending $10. Yeah, everything in this world can be fixed with money. Everything, dude. Literally everything can be fixed in this world with money. I have the PC Game Pass for a year. So I got Halo Reach for free, right? Simple enough. Went ahead, downloaded it from the Xbox beta app because that's where I play my Xbox games. You know, like Master Chief Collections, install it. I do play Forza and We Happy Few, Sunset Overdrive, and this other one to Outer Worlds and Sea of Thieves. I don't know why these ones don't have them. It's, it, it's weird, it's really weird. So. It was not working for me. The framers were all over the place and blah, blah, blah. I'll leave a link in the description below, like right up here. So you guys can look at that video and you guys can look for yourself how the framers were affecting me. It was horrible. Dude. It was going from like 155 to like three and then 40 and 60. And then it was all over the place. It was unplayable. But like I said, spending $10 fixed my issue. I deleted that freaking fiasco of version of the Windows Store master chief collection deleted that it's gone never again i'm gonna download that spending i spent ten dollars 9.99 on steam well 1083 with taxes because of the state that i fucking live in they have to fucking charge an extra dollar because why not it's the government so i went over to steam i bought the master chief collection about halo reach that's it no other game and now look at it run dude i'm going to show you guys how this masterpiece actually runs 1440p in hand settings 155 fps no bullshit dude this is the steam version of it all right guys here we are like i said it runs just fine on the freaking steam version but when it was with the windows store it was not working i have no idea what it is i don't know if it's like a different version i'm guessing it is because it has to run like a, on a different program different software but it's just stupid. Imagine if I would have bought that and I would have spent all that time trying to fix it. They have like a, a period for refund suits, so I would have been burned out a lot. Good thing that I got it from the PC Game Pass and not just paying it out of pocket. I am glad I spent the $10 and I got it fixed because I've been playing it a lot. And this is, this is a really good game, guys. This is a really good game. Like I said, avoid having the whole uh windows store version if you guys can avoid that avoid it dude avoid the windows store it's really really crappy just go ahead and buy it over steam steam has always been better it's always been this debate of origin you play now the epic store and now the windows store and everybody coming but we all know steam for pc is the most reliable source that you can find but you guys I have an issue with Windows 10 Master Chief Collection. Just delete it. Spend the ten dollars. Get a refund if you pay for it, and just buy it over to Steam, dude. If you, and if you guys want to play with me, add me. Vivel Danny 14 is my Xbox gamer tag. I will be sure to play with you guys. Anybody out there? That is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, Epic Gaming out.